Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to the Tarot Adventure. This is Robin and I'm very very happy to have you here today for another Tarot reading. So before we, we begin, I would really love to thank everyone who has either liked or commented on one of my previous videos. I really appreciate your kindness and it's almost as if I'm connecting with you guys at an almost personal level. It is really very kind of you, so thank you again so much for supporting my channel. So as you might be able to tell, um, today's reading will not be a bigger card. And let me just tell you why. Um, it was only last week, in the last few days of last week, that I started getting this weird kind of energy, a little bit restless, a little bit insecure. Now, to put this into context, I was at the time uh, training for a competition that happened during the weekend, so I really associated uh, that feeling of jitteriness and um, anticipation uh, to that, but that came and went. So then I really put it on to the energies of the full moon. Um, as you know, during the full moon, emotions are heightened and more so uh, since this full moon was in Pisces, which is not really the most balanced of signs. I'm a Pisces, so I can definitely tell you that if something is off, it really goes off massively. So again, I thought that it might be that and it would just uh, naturally wane. Uh, just as the moon wanes, but um, then something quite interesting happened. A friend reached out to me to discuss something regarding an emotional turmoil that um, they had been dealing with uh, in the past few days. Again, this really very much aligned with what I had been experiencing and I wouldn't really dare to say that I was picking up on this particular friend because I wasn't actively thinking about them, but this led me to think that there is something right now at this moment uh, going on in the collective, in a particular group of the collective. And what I thought is that, well, if someone needs to hear this message, then they might be able to, to resonate with this video and come across this video. If someone needs a helpful message right now at this moment, then we might try to tune in and try to deliver that message. So with that being said, let's see what this might be all about. I have drawn an archetype card to see uh, maybe some kind of glimpse of what this might be about. And I also picked for you just to, to give you something to um, perhaps connect to, perhaps be drawn to. And I have picked this beautiful little seashell. It is quite small. Um, when I was a child, we used to have some very big ones at my house. And us kids, we would always pick them up and put them up to our ears and we could hear inside them. I don't know if you've ever tried this. What we would call is the sound of the sea. So what uh, comes to my mind when thinking about this is that, you know, this small object, which uh, was once home to an actual living creature, um, has been removed from its original environment for such a long time and yet it carries some of its essence, some of its energetic blueprint uh, with it and it's like it carries its own true home inside it at all times. So I don't know if that will resonate um, in any way with today's message. I'm just putting it out there in case this is relevant for anyone watching this video. So before we get into the tarot, let's first have a look at this archetype card and see what we get from it. So we have here the mirror, all right? Let's put it over here so that it governs over our reading. So, oh, really, the first thing that comes to my mind um, right now is, as, as you can tell, I am very much interested in love readings. This is something that I truly, genuinely love to connect with. Maybe I'm a little bit of a sucker for romance, but this is something that... Um, really lights up my spark. So 
when I see the mirror, I immediately think about um, two people, uh, perhaps divinely connected, who are mirroring each other. Mm, did it ever happen to you that uh, you look at the clock and you see um, mirroring numbers, either 1010 or 1001, um, 1331 or 1313 or anything of that nature. Did it ever happen to you? It's been happening to me a lot, a lot lately. Um, every day, basically, several times each day. And um, mm, <laughs> I was watching a video quite recently uh, from another, another YouTube tarot reader. It's uh, from Lunar Eclipse Tarot. Look her up. She is amazing, Kelly. So she was speaking exactly of this. And I felt drawn to to comment on her video, uh, even before it had started, about this particular occurrence. And I didn't, but guess what? She still mentioned it in the video. So that was really interesting. So mirroring energy, two people who are uh, divinely connected and or all of their emotions and perhaps all of their day-to-day uh, -day experiences are in a sense mirrored. So when one is feeling down, then the other one is feeling down also. Um, and if one of them is restless, cannot sleep, the other person's sleep is disturbed as well. This is one thing that immediately comes to my mind. And again, you see the symbolism on the card. We have the full moon. So it's clear enough that um, this feeling, whatever it's been about, has been accentuated, has been enhanced during the last full moon. So if you resonate with this message, um, do hang on and I would be very, very curious what comes out for you. I would like to tune into this energy of the mirroring of energies and in particular energies that have been for the past few days uh, restless, um, insecure, confused, ups and downs I'm getting, ups and downs. All right, we have the Two of Cups. Right? We have the Two of Cups right here already, splitting the deck, and we also have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So exactly what I was talking about, a feeling of um, lack of balance. Lack of balance is what I'm getting. Feeling very vulnerable, in a sense. Very insecure, restless. Again, Nine of Swords, so... <sighs> Let's see what comes out. Let's first draw a few cards for um, a general overview of the energy, the story, what this may be all about. And then based on that, we'll start uh, piecing together the puzzle. We will ask some more questions. So um, this energy inside the collective, what is it all about? What is the main theme? What is the main theme? Here for the collective experiencing this, these imbalanced emotions, these raw emotions. We have already one card coming out. Let's take one more and see what this is all about. All right. So we have, all right, death with the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Interesting. Something is coming to a close here for someone just to open up a new window of opportunity, a new possibility uh, that is not just in the realms of fantasy, it is not just in the realms of planning and imagining, but it is actually something very real. I see that for someone this is about taking a leap into the arms of an experience that seems incredibly dangerous dancing with fire and yet from that fire comes purity and from that fire comes renewal and the new opportunity to build something beautiful and to have all of the elements of someone's life come into balance the pentagram speaks of harmony between the elements of fire earth, water, air, and spirit. That is the fifth element. 
and this to me speaks of alchemy it speaks of um, transforming the old uh, burning away something that no longer serves us in order to welcome the new in order to bring forward this opportunity yet it is so dangerous and I gather that at this time someone is extremely cautious about not getting burned not getting burned so who is this person who is this person who is worried about getting burned this person who is on the brink of transformation within their lives who is this person that we're dealing with we have seven of pentacles over here We have the King of Wands, all right? And then we also have Six of Cups in reverse. All right. I think I will take this as the connecting energy when asking about the opportunity. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Someone is set on building a new life for themselves. I gather that this might be a masculine, possibly a fire sign, although it doesn't have to be fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But don't get too hung up on, on that because um, there are many uh, influences within a person's chart that uh, do determine a particular course of action uh, and a particular temperament or personality uh, that they may have. For example, um, my moon is in Aries and I very, very much res resonate with that energy of um, impatience, of always wanting to take action, um, very impulsive and really quite loud sometimes. So what I see here with this King of Wands, with this masculine energy, it doesn't have to be a male. Again, everything can be fluid, interchangeable, so it doesn't if it doesn't resonate particularly with your situation, just um, think of someone who embodies uh, this energy, um, someone who is fiery, uh, someone who is creative, someone who is really their own person and they dance to uh, their own tune. So what I see here with this person, and remember, this is the person who is on the brink of this transformation, of this renewal, they have been pondering something with the Seven of Pentacles. Something has been feeling off within their lives and they are, have been thinking and perhaps even obsessing, trying to crack a problem, trying to get to the root of a problem of a certain issue in their lives. And I can see that for a while this has taken up a lot of their mental space because they have been considering a decision here but yet I don't see any action. I see them being very defensive about a situation where perhaps they have been mani manipulated by someone with a six of cups reverse. Uh, this, see this speaks of a situation perhaps that's in the past uh, or that has been going on for a really long time. And it's a situation that um, this person, this King of Wands, has been having a hard time to move away from. I see them dealing with someone very emotionally manipulative, someone who would give them this cup, someone who would give them um, some affection or some attention, but at the expense of something. It is a very manipulative energy. This person that they were dealing with wasn't sincere. They were doing it in order to get a return. A return from them, to get something from them that they really needed, be it financial, uh, being it uh, uh, filling up some empty space within them of insecurity, of lack. Um, perhaps they needed some form of care from the King of Wands. Perhaps that's the thing that had been going on. Um, they needed this King of Wands to look after them in some way. But what I see here 
uh, regardless of what this connection was all about, either it was a romantic connection or a family connection or a friendship or whatever it was, the motives were insincere. And I see this King of Wands has been pondering to break away from this for quite a while. Because they have something in mind. They have a fresh start in mind, looking into the future. But let's see what that is all about. I will leave the magician here because what I'm getting is that they do have a vision for the direction that they're headed towards. But right now it's as if they are in the planning stages and they're analyzing, they are analyzing, looking for a way out, I think. So we have the Queen of Wands here and we have the Eight of Swords. Someone is feeling trapped when hmm, they would want to be with this Queen of Wands. They would like to be with their counterparts. Remember the mirror, right? Divine counterparts. So what is the Ace of Pentacles about? What is this new direction? Did any of the cards flip? No. Okay. What is this new direction for the King of Wands? All right, we have the Eight of Wands. Swift communication. Someone is getting communication. We have someone moving away from a tough, painful cycle. I think that the decision has been made. The decision has been made over here and it's been swift. Someone is ready to move away from a cycle of pain. And someone is coming clean about something. Communication is approaching and it is approaching fast. So whatever this is, the Ace of Pentacles, whatever new beginning, a new offer that is coming in from the King of Wands, it is coming in quick because they are done. Whatever they were dealing with, with this person in their life, they are done. They are ready to move away from that. Can we get a bit more information? So what are they moving towards? What are they moving towards? What is the Ace of Pentacles all about? What do they have their, their eyes set on? What direction are they headed towards? All right, we have our Queen of Wands coming out again. She's coming out in reverse. Oh, we have a bunch of cards, all right? We have the Wheel of Fortune again in reverse with it. I'm gonna put them over here. Hopefully you can see everything. We have the Hangman. Let's put it here in the center of the reading. We also have Five of Swords in reverse, and then we also have the High Priestess. Interesting. Someone finally getting in touch with their intuition. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Someone is healing. This is really wonderful energy. They are healing. All right. But they are stuck in limbo right now, trying to analyze the situation, trying to gain perspective on what is happening. What? Let me get this deck. No, I will get a different deck. So, why is the hanged man here? What are they trying to get a better perspective on? So, the hanged man is a card of um, taking a break in order to see things from a different angle. So, this person here is not a victim. They have put themselves there in this situation in order to have a break and look at things. Look at things differently. See things with new eyes. But why is the hanged man here? Because I can see that a decision has been made and I can see that communication is coming regarding this new beginning and um, our king is open to healing. Right? So why is the hanged man here? Two cards came out. Alright, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We also have the Page of Cups. Hmm. What I see here, what I'm gathering here, is that our King of Wands is worried um, about opening up and being vulnerable. It is something that has been stressing them out massively over the past God knows how much time. And they
they have been stuck in this state of stress, worry, uh, anxiety. Perhaps this is the energy that I was picking up on, the energy that I was telling you about, anticipation, yet um, restlessness and worry, worry whether they are worried whether they are making the right decision, but yet they cannot stay in this toxic, toxic place anymore. And what they worry mostly is that if they open up, if they become vulnerable and express their feelings, um, that perhaps uh, that action will not be well received. But the good news is the Knight of Swords is in reverse, so they are trying to work through that issue. Uh, they are trying to pep themselves up and I hear um, work through their own fears. So this is why they are shifting perspective. They are shifting perspective because they don't want to assume this victim mentality anymore. They would rather be vulnerable and take the risk of rejection than to have to go through all of this mental anguish anymore. This is actually a very positive thing and it has nothing to do with waiting. From what I can see, they are really very determined to turn things around in the way that they think and the way that they feel so that they can come forward and they can come forward quickly because they are determined to heal this. Whatever it is, they are determined to move away from heartbreak because their intuition their intuition is telling them so. Their intuition is saying that this is the right choice. This is the next logical step. I want to know more about this Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Why are they reversed? And excuse me if my voice is a little bit strange, but um, now it's um, it's been really so that since my son started daycare, we already have a couple of colds in our house, so these germs are spread out very quickly. So why is the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? We have the Devil. All right, and then one more card. What's going on here? What is going on here? Something wanted to come. Okay, we'll take Ace of Swords. All right, and then we have Judgment in reverse. Them here. I would really love you to, to be able to see everything, but let me check. Let me check whether you can see all of that. So what I'm seeing here is actually pretty clear. This King of Wands recognizes this Queen as their own true divine counterpart, someone who is a perfect match for them and the perfect reflection of who they are and also their values. Everything that they ever dreamed of in this life is this Queen of Wands, but yet they are really uncertain whether this Queen sees them in the same way she is reversed. And what I'm gathering here is that there has been, I'm getting this in direct words, that truth be told, Ace of Swords, truth be told, I am completely obsessed with you, Queen of Wands, but I have been in denial about this and I have been blocking this connection for such a long time because I know that the way I feel about you is damaging because I think about you all of the time and I'm so anxious about it. I can't sleep at night over the course of a day when I have to tend to my day-to-day -day obligations, the truth is all I think about is you. And that doesn't mean that it is all just passion, it is all just a lustful thing, but me holding myself back for such a long time has made it so that the more I delay it, the more I delay this movement, the more I think about you. And yes, I have been in denial. I didn't recognize this for what it was. First I thought it's just passion, it's just physical attraction. But now I see that you are my mirror. You are my divine counterpart and you are the perfect match for me. 
and I'm ready, I'm ready to come your way and tell you all of this. I am divinely guided to do this and my higher self is telling me I need to do this if I'm gonna find peace and harmony again within my life. I am tired of the chaos, I am tired of the arguments, I am tired of all of this heavy energy that has been around me. I can never win. I can never win when I am in this headspace. I can never win for as long as I'm in this situation. So this is why I am ready to walk away. This is why I'm ready to turn a fresh page and I know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I know. I'm motivated. I'm determined. I'm going for it. This is happening. This is happening very soon. What else is there to ask? Hmm. How will you know? When? When is this coming? When is this communication coming? When is this freeing of the King of Wands from the space of heartbreak? And when is this communication coming? When is the communication coming? We have the Empress in reverse. Someone needs to let go of it. Hmm. The Empress is uh, giving and open and she doesn't chase, she always receives, um, but yet in reverse there is a sense of clinginess to her. This manifestation, this magician can only exert its power when energy has been freed, when there's no more clinging to a certain outcome. The hope is still there, but there's no pressure. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. When, when is this communication coming? We know it's coming soon. Uh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse uh, can mean the loss of something, either financial or in the realms of family life. There may very well be some kind of separation here. We have the Ten of Swords. Was it reversed or did it come out up right? Reversed, all right. So I hear there's something coming to, to really shake things up for this masculine and it, it, it might just be the final straw. There is some kind of loss potentially in the financial realm or just reaching a critical point of pain when they just decide that they're done. They cannot handle it anymore and this is coming soon and it is not through their own making. I do believe that the universe is playing a part here. We have the sun in reverse, so oh, really a loss of joy, a loss of joy for them. Something happens. Oh, we have the ace of wands, all right, but that reignites a passion. Oh, let's shuffle a bit more. When is this coming? When is this shift coming in? I will try to get some kind of time frame, if possible. When is this shift coming in? Really feeling a sense of heaviness, almost breathlessness, like holding my breath about what's going to happen. Two of cups. Mm. There may be a breakup here. A partnership that was not authentic, something that wasn't beneficial for our king here. They thought that they are with their better half, but 
they realized that they were wrong all of this time and this person would never be able to fill their cup in a way that they deserve. They have been manipulated, they have been lied to and there may be, very well be a breakup here. Something very sudden. But again, they have been aware of the situation for a very long time. But there was just doubt, doubt creeping in. They were very doubtful of their gut feeling. When? Time frame, I would like a time frame for this. Alright, we have Eight of Pentacles in reverse, all the hard work that they put in. Just gone, gone away. One more card, three more cards. So three, three could be significant, three weeks, three months at the most. We have Queen of Pentacles in reverse, we have Knight of Swords, someone is ready to speak the truth about what they thought, what they thought that they had, and they thought it was real. And they thought that they had built a successful life for themselves with this Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles could be some partner. The Queen of Pentacles can be a mother. Again, take that as it resonates. And they were wrong about this the whole time. And everything that they thought they had, everything that they thought they had um, comes crumbling down. But... There is a swiftness to this. There is an aha moment when our king gets faced with the reality of their situation and they have to make a decision. They have to, you can see this knight comes in charging as if to, to cut a cord, to cut off what is no longer serving them because they thought they had success. They thought they had everything they desired but yet, they were never satisfied and really, we have a lot of swords here. We have so many swords. We have pentacles, all right, but we don't have any cups. We have, we have the page of cups, which we know is about a new feeling, a new developing feeling. And we have the two of cups in reverse, which is an emotionally unfulfilling relationship, but otherwise we don't have any cups cards? No, we don't. So, there was a lot here based around material things. It is something that um, this King of Wands very much cherished. And they thought that um, through these material things, they could showcase their success, how much they are winning at life. But yet, look at all these swords. This was incredibly unfulfilling, painful. It brought them a lot of stress, a lot of heartache. And finally, they are coming to see it. They are definitely seeing clearly now. I don't know whether I should... No, let's clean up all of the cards and I will get some oracles for you. All right, let's do that instead. Give me a moment, I will clean all of this up and get back to you. All right, welcome back. So we have some tea leaf messages first. I don't usually take the whole deck from these, but I, I felt drawn to All right. All right, all of those fell out, so let's have a look at them. We have boat. Money or, in, or property to an inheritance, winning or windfall. All right, we have the month of January, so this may be significant. Um, as I'm filming this, we are into the second half of September, so January is not that far off, but again, this reading is timeless. So take that as it resonates, it won't be for everyone. We have Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you, and we really saw that, didn't we? With the Nine of Swords, there has been a lot of depression, a lot of sadness, a lot of heartbreak, and a lot of overthinking, overthinking everything. 
And we did see a person whose actions were insincere. Right, we have Gong, an exciting event. And I think that for whoever is watching, there will be something happening out of the blue that will shake things up and they will get really excited about we have horse, short journey, interesting. And then we have bull. Do not back down from opposition, so show strength and fortitude. So this may really be for both people involved in the situation as, at this time. The divine counterparts, there will be opposition, there will be difficulties, but do not back down because you will be successful. There will be excitement, there will be great things to look forward to. But again, you need to be prepared for that, to be ready to push forward, not give up on your dreams because there will be naysayers and there will be people trying to stand in the way of you and your happiness. Let's get some more cards for you. I feel drawn to this deck. Is there to know about this mirrored relationship? This energy that we have been picking up on. What else is there to know? So, these two cards. We have ceremony with invocation and then we also have island with solitude. So what I'm getting is that it may seem right now at this very moment that you're, you're feeling alone. That it's almost as if you are stranded on an island far away from your desires. But even on this little island in the middle of nowhere, there is this beautiful tree blossoming. And I see this as your own inner hope and your own inner vision. So you are being called to, while in this time of solitude, perhaps isolation, to, to water this tree, to care and tend for this tree, to learn to be comfortable with being alone because the time that you spend here is so precious. You can see how this woman is very much drawing in this energy towards her. I see this as divine energy, her own inner power from her higher, higher self, from her connectedness to the universe. She is the master, she is the maker of her own life. And you can see here some clay figures that she has created. Now it's as if she is trying to animate something, trying to bring something into existence. You can see with so much focus and determination and confidence within her power that she is bringing all of this forward into her creation. So this time that you have to spend here in isolation it's not a time wasted, it is a time to draw in your own divine energy and focus on your goal, focus on your dream life exactly how you want it. Put it down to the last detail. Make it very clear, make your vision absolutely crystal clear. And then bring forth down onto you your own divine power your own beautiful energy that you share, that you are part of within this universe. Everything that is without you, outside of you, is actually a reflection of your inner world. Coming back to this mirror card. As above, so below. As within, so without. Everything that comes forward in our present 3D reality was first 
just the creation of our inner world. Either we realized it or not, either it was intentional or not. Remember, we have all of these thoughts throughout a day and we can't possibly keep track of all of them. But whatever we give attention to grows. So you are being asked to use this time very wisely because it might be a very short time that you still have in the solitude before something changes, something suddenly changes. Remember that Eight of Wands with a quick moving energy? Yes, so take advantage of the time that you have here to really call in all of your power to manifest your dream. It's what the magician was doing. It's the same thing, but you need to be crystal clear about what you want. So this time is not wasted. This is a time for, for clarity, for caring, for your tree of hope. Because very soon your vision will be manifest. Your outer reality will come to mirror your inner reality. I'm definitely sensing that. Alright, let's get let's get a few more cards for you. What else is there to know? Somehow this has kind of turned into a twin flame reading. I do enjoy the stuff. Um, I perhaps don't necessarily connect with the label, but if you do, then that's completely fine. Because no one can tell you what a particular relationship is. You're the one who knows best. We have come together, all right, number eight. Definitely union, I see here union. I see here happiness, accomplishment, a dream come true. Number eight. Almost like the infinity symbol. It's something that is forever. It has the potential to be forever, happily ever after. Again, this perfect symmetry, the beautiful mirrored energy. And we have sad embrace number 45. All right, so I can see already that look how this connects to the card next to it. Because right now, you might find yourself um, trying to soothe yourself, trying to, to collect yourself from these intense emotions that you have been feeling. And again, we have the full moon. So um, this full moon in Pisces, if you are watching around this time when the video gets released, then it has definitely affected you and it has brought up a lot of unprocessed emotions to the surface. But there is a point to that. There is a purpose to that. Because you are being invited to work through all of those, to, to comfort yourself and nourish yourself. Very importantly, nourish yourself and reset your headspace. Because what is on the other side is coming together. It is a divine union. And look how bright and beautiful these cards are together with a yellow and orange shades. Orange speaks of the sacral chakra, which governs our sexuality, our passion, our self-expression, our creativity. And yellow is the heart of the solar plexus chakra, which is about self-confidence. It is about uh, stepping into our own true power, being ourselves, who we truly are in the world. It is almost like the, the connecting point between the lower realms and the higher realms. So it is really combining our human needs and wants with our spirituality. It's really what holds our back high. This is the kind of feeling that I'm getting. We, you can sit upright, proud of yourself when the solar plexus chakra is balanced. All right, I will get one more deck here for you. Any closing messages, any final messages here for the collective who has been tuning into this reading. I think you will be very blessed, very blessed. And 
the blessings are coming in really soon. And I feel three weeks to three months, something is coming in, something is changing, something is shifting for you. One more message here, one more message for the collective. Okay, we have Angel of Strength, again the beautiful orange and yellow golden colors, stay strong. You're on the right path. This has all been happening for a reason. Stand tall and proud. One more card. One more card here. We got so many. No, let's put all of those back in. No, this one wants to come out. Magician and the mirror. Wow. Again, we started with the mirror and we are closing this reading with a mirror. This is really beautiful. Actually, let me get this, the guidebook for this particular deck because I want to read the message on this card. I feel it might be meaningful. Let's see. Magician and the mirror. And again, this uh, balancing of the cold and the, the warm energies. Something is about to shift. All right, so. Magician in the mirror, knowing and using your true power. All right. So this card represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. This highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin, the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Again, it is this message of your own true power within and bringing forward into your reality your own vision. Its silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on the horizon ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life and just as an alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of the future will, will clear into brilliant reality. All right? So I think this message said it all. I'm very, very happy, very, very joyful to be the messenger of this. It is an important time for you. It is so essential, so life-defining. So soothe yourself, but move away from this energy as soon as you're done, because there are great things waiting for you. And your vision is ready to be manifested. You will soon be moving away from restlessness, from despair, from confusion, into a new and exciting stage of your life. And what you have wished for will be made manifest. I'm extremely very, very happy for you. This is so important to understand that you have the power. It's been a blessing doing this reading for you. Thank you so much for letting me tune into this energy. I really appreciate it. And I hope all of your dreams come true. So good luck with everything. I hope you're having a good day or a good night, wherever you are. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like or subscribe. That is really very beneficial for the channel. Take good care of yourself and I will see you in my next one. Bye.